I'm going to make a very basic cinnamon biscuit for you. And this is a fantastic addition to any creamy dessert like creme caramel or panna cotta. So to start with, I need 150 grams of plain flour. I'm doing this all in the food processor just to cut out some of the steps. So no mixing required. Let the machine do all the work. So in it goes. This is being measured out. Then I've got 50 grams of brown sugar and I'm just going to crumble that in my fingers. Pop that in there, along with 115 grams of butter. And I've just softened that slightly. And now this is where you flavour. So I've got two teaspoons of cinnamon here. And you know, you can spice it up, you can change it. So I'm using, of course, cinnamon. You could use nutmeg, you could use clove is delicious, just vanilla. Change it up depending on the dessert. In it goes. And the first stage of blending, just like any other dough you're making, we just want that crumb consistency. I'm also going to break one egg and I just want the yolk for this. All right, that's looking good. So in with the egg yolk. Okay, so as you saw, that was all gathering together and that's the right stage for it to come out. You can see, I want you to see the actual consistency of this. See how it's just soft, but it's easy to handle. So let's get all of this mixture out and it smells so good. The cinnamon is just beautiful in this. Just with your hands, just lightly knead that into a disc and just wrap it in a bit of cling film here and I'm going to place that in the fridge for about 20 minutes to an hour until that butter's firmed up nicely. I'll have a cup of tea in the meantime and when I return I'm just going to roll it out one centimetre thick, that's how we're wanting it, and then I'll start cutting them into the shapes. We have rolled our dough out now. Just between two pieces of baking paper, I find it much easier to do that. So I just have a bit of flour here and I just pop my cookie cutter into the flour and we just cut little circles. So I've preheated the oven to 200 degrees and these aren't going to take long at all to cook, around 10 minutes or until they're crunchy. Cookies are baked, they're a little bit soft when they come out of the oven and of course as they cool they become a little bit harder and they're ready to go. So let's pop them on a beautiful plate here and like I said, I mean, a cup of tea you could have these biscuits with it but they're even better when you have one of those beautiful desserts and you need just a little bit of texture, a little bit of crunch, these work perfectly with it. So just a few more and just a little bit of icing sugar to make them extra special. And there you go, that's my basic cinnamon biscuit and that is fantastic with any cream dessert.